You know, there's committed. There's a little committed. There's 50% committed. There's almost fully committed. <laughs> and then there's fully committed. And I think one of the things that I want to put before you tonight that I'd like you to make a decision about. And remember, I said I really want this weekend to be a lot about making decisions. I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Choose life that you and your descendants might live. God will never ask us to do anything. He will never ask us to give up anything if it's not going to ultimately be the very best thing for us. You never have to be afraid to obey God in anything because he's never trying to take anything away from you. He's only trying to get you in a position where he can give you that 100-fold return that he wants to give you. God is a good God, and he wants to be good to you. But apparently, compromise can maybe keep us in the 30 or 60 or some of the things in between. But maybe if we get fully committed, and how many of you agree that sometimes takes a while in our life, we're not, no, come on, come on now, get those hands up there. We know that we don't just get saved and all of a sudden we're gung-ho, 100% laying everything on the altar for Jesus. It takes time, doesn't it? Wonder how many people are in this building tonight that are mad at somebody. I love you, but if you are, you're not fully committed. Good, I got three people right up here in front that believe me. See, I can tell what you need by how you react when I say it. <laughs> I said, if you're in here tonight and you're mad at somebody, then if you'll be truthful with yourself, and only the truth will make us free, we can avoid and evade and run from and blame. None of that sets us free. Only the truth will make us free. Well, the truth is maybe somebody didn't treat you right. Maybe they treated you really bad. And it probably wasn't fair. And maybe you have a reason to be mad. But according to the Word of God, you have no right to be. Because if we have a right to be mad at the people who hurt us, then God has a right to be mad at us. And I have good news for you tonight. God is not mad at you. He's not mad at you. He's forgiven you a million times already, and he's ready to do it another million or two or three times before you go to heaven to be with him. Amen? Yeah, come on. Don't make me stay here on the mad thing. I've got other things to do.